uh, it just depends on what type of firefighting operation is required, so that we can use the um, American-made Akron branches to uh, combat various situations. The students have been handling the uh, handling the cattle, and they've competed here at Finley today. Uh, and we've got uh, in, in the the lighter section, right at the back, um, was uh, Shannon Shannon Whit. Uh, also, uh, Richard Malone did very well. And we had Courtney Lawrence won the uh, the novice handler. So I think we can put our hands together for all the uh, cattle exhibitors. And also, uh, it looks like uh, Mr. John Fleming. John Fleming and family uh, have done very well in the, the jersey section. <laughs> and also, ladies and gentlemen, still being conducted down at the uh, the dairy shed is the uh, the junior handlers. So, if you wanted to go down and see them preparing the uh, the cattle, that will be on immediately following the grand parade. But now, I'd like to uh, hand over to our to our uh, president, Mr. Eric Dudley, uh, to say a few words and introduce Mr. Wynne Hawkins, who's going to open the show. Thank you, Greg. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Many thanks for your attendance here today. It just proves that our show hopefully is on the up and up, and that's the way that I'd like to see it continue. Thank you all to our exhibitors, our stewards, particularly our sponsors, and all the helpers. Nobody really knows just how many people put in so much in all. The whole thing came as the idea of Ashley Haynes, so thank you very much to him. The, I think it's been a great success, as most of you would have heard, that our ball was just about booked out. But we look forward to seeing all those, plus we'll hang you from the ceiling next year. Finality of the year, Mr Wynne Hawkins, who's been a great stalwart of our show. And I'll hand over to Wynne to open the show. Thanks, Wynne. Thank you, President Derry. Ladies and gentlemen, if, if uh, you've all seen me walking around the town this last week with a great gong hanging around my neck, and I would like to tell you that uh, if you uh, are thinking of getting in the queue uh, to open the Finley show, you'd better start now because it's taken me 50 years to get here. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you'll agree that the show itself has, has been wonderful today. We have had over the last three or four years uh, presidents of, of longer than that uh, that have done a, a great deal towards moving the show uh, forward and modernising. And I'm Peter Braven did an outstanding job and uh, uh, he had to take it on for four years uh, while we're all grooming Eric for the job. So I'm sure that with the committee they've got now, the uh, support that they're getting from younger members of the community, that the show is going to really move into the 21st century. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to say any more. I deem it a great honour to be asked to open this great event and uh, as I said, it's uh, uh, a long time experience for me and I've enjoyed every minute of my show time. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to open the 2002 Finley Agricultural Show. Right, 
class two, uh, the winners were also uh, Alan Thwaites and Sue Carmichael. With uh, the second in that class were Lloyd and Andrew Chesworth. And third went to uh, John Fleming, John and Gwen Fleming. So congratulations to all those winners. And I think we can all put our hands together for the, uh, the great display of livestock. We've got all the, the winners as far as the horses are concerned. Uh, they've been competing since early this morning and they've done a wonderful job. As you can see, there's horses there of all shapes and sizes and riders that are very much the same. So uh, congratulations to all the competitors, whether you've uh, come runner-up in the uh, chocolate cake making or whether you've won the, uh, the best bowl of tadpoles in the pet show, whatever it might be, but you've, uh, hopefully everyone's enjoyed the day. And thank you for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, just as you're uh, you happen to be wandering around, away from this main section here today. A bit of a touch-up. Looks like Billy Armstrong's John Deere hasn't quite quite the horse that it did last year. <laughs> Rand Wilson hasn't quite got the rules in yet. Yeah. <laughs> Rand Nassim went backwards when he's supposed to. <laughs> the reliability of John Deere is obvious. <laughs> <laughs> He's off the car now, but we haven't handicapped him for that.
Fiona Hogan. Caroline Sweet. Diana Wilson. Emily Wolf. Megan Van Beek. And Lauren Wiley. To help us stash our showgirls for this year, we are going to have last year's winner, which is Sue Ann McComsky here. So Sue Ann's going to help us stash the ladies. This year's Miss Showgirl goes on to represent our zone, which is zone 7, uh, in a final in February at Uncary. Prior to that, she'll spend a weekend at a, a department class, which is sponsored by the show. So she has a few busy days ahead of herself. Our third place for Miss Finley Showgirl is Diane Wilson. Thank you. 